Hi, thanks for joining us today. We're here to talk about the launch of an exciting new project. I have Ash, Miguel, and Eddie. They're gonna talk about how they're using these Hypercraft parts to convert the 1967 Volkswagen Beetle behind me to an all-electric. Ash, can you tell me a little bit about your company and your contribution today? Thanks, Natalie. Uh, so here at Ohm Electric Cars, I am responsible for engineering the solution unique to this vehicle. So I'm actually leveraging over 25 years of experience on the powertrain development and testing side, using a lot of those same knowledge and same resources to dedicate a solution unique for this bug over here. So you may ask, what is involved in taking what we commonly are used to, which is this mechanical device that introduces air and fuel into the vehicle, to now displace it with a much more comprehensive solution like this over here provided us by our friends at Hypercraft, a Cascadia Motion IM225 motor that produces almost 300 horsepower and over 400 foot-pounds of torque in comparison to a 50 horsepower car from the 1950s and 60s. So how do we do that? Well, we use a combination of controls from our friends at New Eagle as well as our 2,000 horsepower dynamometer to provide that level of calibration and tuning to get the solution to work not only properly and safely, but to give us the performance that we're looking for. We also integrate a lot of intense electronics, including CAN-based controls, as well as uh, a lot of other high-tech features to get this vehicle to a much more modern point. And for us to actually integrate the mechanical side, we have our friends Ed and Miguel here at Center City Automotive to support us with the actual mechanical integration of these components. Like as mentioned, we are teaming up with um, Ohm Electric Cars here in Dixon, California. I am one of the owners at Center City Automotive. We are diving into the uh, uh, electric car industry. Of course, we already deal with some of that with our customers, not the custom customization yet though. I've been working on cars for 25 years as a hobby, now a business owner in Davis, California. So obviously uh, the future is taking us on that, that direction. And here I have Ed, part of uh, Center City Automotive. He will be our side of the, uh, the uh, development and customizing uh, on this 1966 Volkswagen conversion. Thank you, Miguel. Hi, my name is uh, Edmund Reyes. I've been a uh, lead tech with uh, Miguel for uh, over at Center City for about 12 years now. And I'll be working with uh, Ash side by side, doing all the customization on the uh, EV bug conversion. And then uh, one thing we're gonna be doing would be upgrading the, the suspension and the, uh, the brakes to handle all the, uh, the horsepowers. I've noticed a huge uptick in electric vehicle conversion companies on the market now. So what sets you apart? So what sets us apart is leveraging that 25 years of experience. And so we start off with a basic analysis of the vehicle, determining how much capacity you need, how much range you will be getting from that, and understanding what the vehicle performance looks like through modeling and simulation. So we predict what this vehicle can do with this level of hardware. With that knowledge, we can actually better understand what hardware can we get, what is on the market versus what we actually need. So while most companies actually take crash Teslas or parts directly from a salvage yard and simply put it in, we on the other hand are leveraging the new parts but also creating that control logic to optimize them to use them correctly, leveraging that engineering experience. Once we have that modeling and simulation data, we're now able to work with our friends at Hypercraft to select the right hardware in terms of the kit that includes the battery, the motor, the charging system, and what we do here is focus on the controls with our own unique controller, provide the low voltage wiring on the 12 volt side, and also support the high voltage system as well with the high voltage insulation as well as some of the other parts along with that. So what we do differently is engineer the solution for each vehicle. So what is the typical mileage range that we could expect to get out of an electric conversion versus a new car on the market? Are they comparable? Uh, so unfortunately, the mileage ranges of a converted vehicle in comparison to a new vehicle are a little bit different. Why? Because new vehicles are designed around the battery. They design a battery that is of large capacity, generally in the floorboard area, and that equates to more mileage range. For us, on the other hand, we already have our design constraint. We only have a limited volume to work with, which limits our capacity. So in this case, we're anticipating about a 100 mile range with this vehicle. So what are some of the benefits of converting an older car to be a modern electric vehicle? That's a very good question, Natalie. Why? You think about it, every time you hop in a car, what's my fuel gauge at, right? Now, if there's a car like the one we're converting, like most of the people that will be converting, I think, will be the people who have a sentimental value, a vehicle that was maybe owned by their grandparents, you know, their parents. 
or maybe there's a, you know, that a high school dream of owning a, a specific vehicle. Anyways, uh, now you have not only less maintenance to worry about, but also you have less fluids to worry about and possibly even stop worrying about the emissions like smogs in, in most of the states in the U.S. So pretty convenient, less things. And on the cars we're driving nowadays, we are running out of parts. Uh, not only because of uh, the new world of uh, electric and hybrids, there's manufacturers that year 10, year 11, there's no more parts for them. So we are, we are seeing that a lot nowadays. So to your question, the answer is convenience for sure, yeah. Now that we know some about this project, what can we expect the next time that we check in with you? So our next steps, Natalie, are to really describe the analysis portion of this conversion. And so what we're going to do on our next episode is take the vehicle weight. We're going to show what this vehicle actually does on the dynamometer in terms of horsepower and also understand what the emissions look like with tailpipe uh, measurements. And then once we have that information, we're going to take that and hand the vehicle back off to Center City Automotive. So like Ash mentioned, uh, after he's done with the, with the numbers, after the dyno, we will go ahead at the shop with Ed. We're gonna go ahead and pull that gas combustion engine out. We're gonna go ahead and update the brakes and all front and rear shocks as well. Then we'll pass the car back to Ohm Electrics and go from there. Check back and we'll have updates for you soon.